Rich Boy of EMFS XLRA back at you with another exciting episode of Check This Out. The show we take a look at whatever deck we want to take a look at. We have ourselves a good old time. Today, everybody, we take ourselves a look at and I'm here to my tell you favorite that this archetype. Right. Um, this is cool. so love Alter Guys and how they negate stuff and play around all the things. Very, very enjoyable deck to play today. And so, we're, yeah, we're taking ourselves a look at the new Alter Guys support. They got themselves a bit more of a combo -y feel now. Used to just be about lockdown, but no, now, now the Alter Guys can actually do some combos. Kind of like how Volcanics can now do some Volcanic combos. Alter Guys can now do Alter Guys combos. So we're going to be taking a look at an Alter Guys deck today. We're going to be going into the hall, the, sh the bells and the whistles, and doing what this deck can do. We have our amazing one, two, we have a two card combo that leads into all the good stuff. One Mermaid Girl plus one Pixie Girl equals lots of links and things, setting up a nice board. And so we're going to go into this deck. And we're going to have ourselves a good time doing it. If you want the full deck list, of course, that'll be down in the description as usual. Real quick, we'll go over just, you know, basics. Like I said, Mermaid plus Pixie equals going from Hexia up into, uh, where'd she go? Prime Banshee up into the Administrator. That's the new one. Getting a whole bunch of trap cards on the board and just floodgating our opponent and just giving them an annoying time, basically. So that's the deck. What we're going to be trying to do is just troll people. So let's go into EDO Pro. We'll show off this deck, show you the wombos, show you the combos, and we'll have ourselves a good time. Let's get started. All righty, our first opponent. Another day, another card game. As we like to do with this deck, we like to go first. First in, first out. Let's see what kind of opening hand we have. Well, there's the combo. Oh, uh, that's a GG, sir. I think we've got him. So we've got ourselves our opening hand. Let's show off what we do here. We have, of course, our new Melis, or not new. This is Melisy. She ain't new. Nor is Pukri. She, she's kind of new. She's new-ish. But basically, Pukri, I can use this link material from my hand would make it an altergeist. So I just go one, two, buckle my shoe. Make Hextia. Hextia is our negate if I have something pointing to her. Clearly, I don't yet, but that, that'll come. But for now, we're going to activate both of our effects in the wrong order, but it is an order. Mela sequel, add us whatever we want. We want this thing, the new Malwisp. Very nice card, because when we add it, we can special summon it. Pukri will recover herself, so I can use it later. And we're going to go ahead into the Malwisp. And this is what we do. We'll summon this over here in the off chance I need to negate. And we're going to bring back Mela because that's what Malwisp does, just bring back a monster. So now we have materials. We're going to go ahead and make our next link. This is very much a link climbing combo now. It used to just, like I said, it was either multi faker or bust for Alter Geist, but now they can do some stuff. Like making the Prime Banshee. And our Hex Steel will go off. And we're not going to use a Prime Banshee's effect just yet, but I can add a card to my hand. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and get a Marionetter, because we don't have a Marionetter. Oh, very nice. So now we use Prime Banshee's effect. We'll get rid of the Malwisp. And that's going to allow us to summon out a monster like a good old multi fucker. When special summon, she's all like, hey, I'm going to get you some more cards. Why not? And I get the special summon. I'm going to get the Penetrator. Because clearly I'm not digging hard enough. And my opponent surrenders. You know what? I know you won't rematch. Yeah, I don't feel like it. I don't rematch to Rage Quitters. So, yeah, that's the idea of this deck, people. You know, you, you go into the combos, and sometimes your opponent just rage quits on you. I mean, I, I was only going to be able to have, like, I don't know if I even had a negate. I might have had one negate. That's about it. I didn't even have my field spell. So, yeah, my opponent quits to just overwhelming altergeist combos. So, let's go for our second opponent. Hopefully, someone who will actually, you know, duel us all the way. And we'll show off more of what this deck can properly do. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. All right, what do we get this time? Going first again. That's the news I like to hear. All right, this opening hand, though, is what I do not like to hear. Let's see. Shuffle all the guys' card. Add all the guys' monster. Okay, well, this opening hand is pretty garbo, all things considered. But maybe... We can uh, spoof some things with our personal spoofing. Because we can activate this little trap card here. We're going to activate its effect. I'm going to shuffle back my book. Hopefully we don't get ants blossomed. And if we don't, I get to add myself a multi-faker. 
and then because I play the trap card, be like, hey, multifucker's here for you. Summon out this little lady. She's weak as all hell, but because I special summon her, I get to special summon the Owl of Death. Which I can use to bounce multifaker and you know bounce another card. So yeah, basically this is the this is the OG combo of doing altergeist, you know. Summon out the multifaker. Summon out the owl. Stop your opponent from playing any spell cards. Have a negate. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's what I can do. And plus, you know, I, I basically have a lot of recursion here, you know, because I can bounce a, my multifaker to bounce a card. Next turn I can use spoofing. Shuffle Faker for Faker, get Faker back out, and just keep going from there. Snowball into infinity. Uh, let's see, return to the hand. Let us do this. Let's say, so we're gonna activate our Aquas. We're gonna shuffle back that set card. I don't trust it. I'm not gonna chain nothing because I don't wanna interrupt nothing, but we're gonna go ahead, like I said, bounce the Faker back to the hand yet again. Or back to the deck, whatever. You know what I'm you know what I'm doing, okay? I'm here. To hit my opponent with Cyber Tentacles of Doom. What? Uh, okay, that didn't work for some reason. I must... Okay, I may have messed that up a little bit. It's fine. I can poke my opponent to death anyway. Um, Special Summon. Summon all the guys to defense. Several so Can I special summon monsters? Yeah. I, I waited a turn. What the heck? I, I messed that up somewhere. I don't know how. But I did. It's all good, though. It's, it's fine. I could do it next turn. Or maybe the turn after. I don't know. The point is, my opponent... Uh, okay, playing some DDDs. I would explain why he hasn't done anything. DDDs, very much monster-heavy, but they do need their spells to do things. Well, that is true. You know, they need them for the fusions and stuff. Well, they have, the like, the slimes. They can fuse out of the grave, but, uh, you know, he doesn't have that. And I don't have much of much. That's not good. All right. Let's me think here. Shuffle Altergeist. Hmm. I'm going to have to attempt this. We're going to use personal spoofing. We're going to get back Multifaker. And... No, I just don't want to work at the moment. Let's see. Oh, because I'm activating the effect. That's right. So I gotta activate my imperm. Then I can do what I want to do. And you know, I could have imperm just there to stop this, but I'm like, he's just gonna go in battle phase anyway. I might as well let my opponent use up some of his resources first. You know, I, I already made one mistake by, you know, trusting too much in the power of the multi faker. You know? I might I might as well just give it a second. Alright, so what does this do? Send a dark contract, summon this card, banish it when it leaves the field. Neat. You murdered Thomas Edison, you monster. How could you do this? He was, he invented the light bulb, damn it. Why are you gonna be so mean? All right, so he's got the Lamia, he's got the Berfame. What does this do again? Target a DD control, blah, 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 change the Oh, this is the level changer, okay. Okay, that's cool. What, one to eight? Ah, make them both level four, I presume. And thinking here, do I want to do that? Hmm. Let's activate Imperm on the Burpamet. That'll negate that. And now I can hit him with the multi faker. And yep, summon up multi faker. Activate multi faker's effect to summon another monster. See, now we're doing it right. Let's see. Uh, target all the guys summon in defense. Can I animate its effects this turn, though? All right, that's not bad. Is there anyone better at the moment? Not really. So, yeah, I'll go with Malwisp. And then Malwisp will go off, and I can bring back my owl. The owl can't use its effect, but it's stronger than Burpamet. Therefore, he can't just run it over. So, well, I'm all good. E even if he beats over all my other altar guys, he can't beat over my owl. My owl is safe. All right. So, that's the idea. Oh, there we go. So, there's our old boy, Garugamesh. Uh, what's this do again? I this back. Not special summon level. Place two DDD pendulums. Yeah, I'm going to have to say no to that as much as I don't want to. 
Uh, you getting free pendulum scales is a bad idea for me. I kind of need to stop the pendulum man from going into pendulums. Oh, what's the other effect of this guy? Spellman, a DD from the extra deck, a defense mode. Oh yeah, he can make this thing. I forgot about that thing. That thing's kind of an issue. All right. All right, so the DDD player actually having some uh, plays in there. So what does this do? Monster effect, add to to fag, detach two materials, or destroy a dark contract, blah, 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 do a thing. Gotcha. All right, so basically he can negate a thing. Let me think about this. Let me think about that. So he can detach his material or get rid of his dude to negate. Yeah, it negates, right? Uh, da, 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 da. uh attach that monster to this card no it doesn't negate unless i'm misreading this thing uh detach no it does not okay we'll activate our bird let's bounce our wisp bait out the deus machina that way he has to do something about that oh maybe he won't i don't know i don't think he's going to I would be surprised if he did not do something here. I mean, what what is the uh, repercussion? I mean, oh yeah, he he wants to keep this though, because it's the only spell he has. It's the only spell he currently has until he has a a what you call it. Let's see, get rid of and then attach that dude. Um, wait. Turn the bird to the deck. Add marionette. So now can't detach. Ha ha! My plan worked. I definitely didn't bullshit that whole thing. Trust me. Uh, but now we added back Malwisp. Let's summon out Malwisp, and my opponent surrenders as they should. So. Again, that's a perfect illustration of what Altergeist's ultimate plan is. Troll people until they surrender and lose all hope in life. It's what they do, okay? So, that was an illustration. That That's the perfect opponent for us, you know? Spell-reliant sort of deck. We say no to all spells. Because for whatever reason, these robot girls are wizards. And then we just negate their effects, bounce their stuff. They can't do nothing. So... Very nice. So uh, let's go ahead for. Uh, I want to do. I want to do all day with this deck now, even though I I don't like Alter Guys. Now I'm starting to like Alter Guys. There you go. Let's go for one more duel though. Let's show off a little bit more of what the deck do. We haven't even gone for our big link. I want to try to summon the big link. So let's do that. One more duel coming in. All right, everybody. Our third and final opponents. The fight and third, as we call it. And I'm not gonna lie, folks, playing this deck, I'm actually starting to slightly like Altergeist. It's crazy. For years, I didn't like them at all. But I don't I don't know. Something something about this. This new combo aspect of them makes me like them a lot more. Kind of like with volcanics. You know, years we were forced to play all these floodgates with volcanics to do anything with the boys. And then they got all these combos, and it just feels more enjoyable to play Volcanics. So, same thing with Alter Guys. Take a hint, Konami. If you want to make an unfun archetype more fun, give it a combo or two. All right, but let's see. What what are we up against? What the heck am I up against? Ica Stone. Cabrera Stone. Oh, this is the um, Inagi deck. Like, he's trying to inflict reverse effect damage to me or something. It's something like that. I I, I kind of know what this is about, but kind of don't. So, let's see. Target monster, your attack, defense, blah, blah, blah. Equip this card. Does not negate the effects, mind you. Uh-huh. Interesting. Nightmare Phoenix. I mean, that's bigger than some of my monsters happen to be, so that's a thing. All right. So, Nightmare Phoenix. Drew Penetrator. Not a fan of that. I mean, I can get work. I can make that work. It's not a favorable thing to make work, but I can make it work. So let's go ahead and start with the pot that brings us prosperity. Use our lucky rabbit's foot. Maybe that'll bring me some luck. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, my synchro brother, but you must go. Did you guys remember that all the guys even have a synchro? It's crazy. 
Like, you never summon the darn thing. It, it has an effect. You just never use the darn thing. What? Activate the discarded card, target of two monsters in your grave, summon them. When any of those monsters are destroyed, this card, when this card leaves, you'll destroy the target of monsters. Okay, then. Um, okay, so we should try to revive Link Rebo. And I guess if I blow this up, then that gets blown up, and then he takes damage. Right? This card's destroyed, but battle card effect takes 1,000 damage. Yeah, that's the whole idea of that. One, two, three, four. Oh, I got my Melisake. I got my girl. I got my girl. You know what? I got my girl. That's good enough for me. I could have also gone with evenly matched, but, you know. Yeah, no. I had to go with my girl. All right. Oh, this does something when it's just summoned in general. Add O or something that mentions O. I see. Interesting. I mean, personally, I like curry bows. Best breakfast seal on the market, I tell you. But, you know, this guy likes triangulos. All right, so let's go ahead and do our combo. We got our Hextia on the board. We're going to go ahead and activate both of these. We're going to activate Meloseek first, and then Chain Pook. Pook the Spook. Unfortunately, though, I do have... The, I got Penetrator and Revelation in my hand. That part I'm not a fan of, but, you know, live and do what you can do. Live it, do it what you can do with it. Good old Malwisp, come back to the board. Put her right there. Activate her effect. Get back of the dolphin. Alrighty, so we're gonna keep doing that. Let's meet Tink here. Yeah, the fact that... The fact that I have these in my hand is a little iffy. Like, I can still do everything I need to do. It's just I don't get to do it as, like, you know... As strongly, let's put it. So, good old Hexia hit the grave. I get myself another Altergeist card. And let's see. What do I want, considering I don't have everything in the world? I'm going to special summon multi faker. I could get Meliseek. Although, I'm going to get back Meliseek. So, I don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and get Protocol. Why not? Have some uh, negates here and there. So let's go ahead and set this. Let's activate our Prime Banshee's effect. Get rid of the Malwisp here. Get out our Murtafaker. Put that in attack mode, because we might be attacking with it. And we'll use the Multifaker's effect. Bring out the Owl. Dang it, every time! Every time! Oh, I almost had my, bo my boss again and then my opponent's just like nope 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 i'm not handling that i ain't dealing with that all right well i i, I know i said i wanted to end it after three duels but i think we have to do one more for that one we're gonna do one more duel today might run a little longer than i was hoping for but you know we're, we're gonna give it a shot let's go for one more duel hopefully we can finally get out our boss monster because so far our opponents just cannot handle the kitchen we be cooking in all right, in the fourth and final duel of the day, up against Sharko. Good old Sharko Prime. I, I always loved that battle bot, but for the love of it, he couldn't win a fight, sad to say. I was always rooting for him, though. All right, but regardless, our opening hand's okay. It's not perfect, but hopefully our lucky rabbit will help us achieve the, the cards we need. Come on, baby. I just, need a, I just need a card or two. Okay, no, 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 definitely not. Uh, Pookery's not bad. I mean, it could be worse. Let me think about this. This is a hard one. I could get Multifaker. I do have Imperm, and I do have Marionetter. Let's get ourselves some old-fashioned Multifaker. You know, when in doubt, go with the classics. Use the basics. Break their roots. Good old Marionetter. Gets me an Altergeist trap. Does not set spoofing. Uh, which sucks, but it sets everything else. So let's go ahead, go for our Arota call. That way he can't negate my stuff. We'll set a card. And I can't summon from the hand, can I? Uh, no. That's unfortunate. All right, well, regardless, Secret Village of the Spielcasters. And we'll end our turn at that and see where this goes. So, you know, it's it's an opening board. It's nothing terrible. And my opponent surrenders! Okay, my, I guess yeah, for a shark player, I, I guess he's playing too many spells. I don't know what to tell you. All right. 
Um, actual fourth, fifth, final opponent coming up, I guess. Alrighty, our fifth opponent, regardless, our final opponent. I don't care if my opponent rage quits in two seconds. This is the last one. As much as I like to troll people when I have in the mood to troll people, uh, I also like it to, you know, not take all day. So, what do we have for an opening hand here? Not great, but it's a livable hand. I do have my marionette and my opponent surrenders. Okay. Um, I, this is the thing. When you're playing a troll deck, any win technically counts. Are these, is that a good win? No, no. I normally summon a monster my opponent surrendered. Okay. That's, a, it's a little embarrassing to be honest, but. Yeah, the, the idea of this deck is to control and troll, so that's what we're doing, and that's what we did. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep dueling. If people are just going to keep surrendering, I'm not going to keep dueling. So, let's go for the end screen. We'll talk more about the altar guys and what they do. Alrighty, everybody, the new altar guys control. We got we got all the wins in the world. Were, were they all good wins? No. We, we never even got to summon out the new monster to set the trap card and do stuff with that because my opponents were a bunch of whiny little babies. Bunch of, bunch of whiny babes crying for the mamas. Well, unfortunately for them, their mamas were sitting on my lap because that's where the ladies want to sit when you're rolling up with the alpha guys up in here. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, anyway, anyway. We had ourselves a good time, surprisingly, with Alter Guys. I thought it was just going to be a negate show. Like, I've seen every time I've dueled against Alter Guys, it's just, you know, negate with the multi faker and stuff. And yeah, I, I made the slight mistake with multi faker, but I recovered from it. I showed off what it can do. As you can see, this deck has some very nice loop to loops it can do. We have the ability to link climb fairly well, especially with good old Pook and Spook. And so. Uh, it's it's weird to say that I like playing this deck because I don't like Altergeist, but I like playing this version of Altergeist. Let's put it that way. I like how they are now more of a deck that does things rather than just stopping the opponent from doing things, even though we can still very well do that. So, hope everybody enjoyed watching some Altergeist. If you did, don't forget the likes button. Let's me know that you enjoyed it. Consider the subscription if you haven't already, if you feel up to doing so. If you feel like supporting what I do. And next time, I don't know what deck I want to play next, to be honest. I kind of want to look at Super Heavy Samurais. But at the same time, I don't. But at the same time, I just I don't know what deck I want to play next, honestly. So I'll figure that out later. So for now, thank you for watching. Your boy Memphis is signing out. I'll see you guys again very soon with more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. Until then, y'all stay safe. Stay happy. Have a wonderful day. Y'all take care. <laughs> Thank you.